Hello, YouTube people. Uh, we're going to continue. This is part two of our 2020 uh, Chevrolet Equinox LT review. Uh, there is the infotainment system I talked about earlier. It's pretty quick. So, uh, we'll keep that quiet. We'll keep the, uh, uh, that music quiet. <laughs> um, does have 4G LTE. Well, that's my phone. But it does have Wi-Fi if you want to pay for that. Um, here are the gauges. These are lit here. Um, we can scroll down through the infotainment, I mean, the um, center display using these wheels, these things here. So info. Uh, we do have a trip. Uh, B A B trip, 26.4 miles per gallon. That's not too bad for that. Um, it is a 1.5 turbocharged engine, um, and it's LT. It's pretty, pretty decent. It's it's fairly peppy. Um, you know, off the line, it's maybe a hint of lag, but very little, very very little. So I'm very impressed. And the transmission ships very smoothly. Um, so I'm impressed with that. Oh yeah, as we're going through that. We're talking about two things at the same time. So, uh, oil life, tire pressure monitors, average speed, timer if you really want it, back to current speed, and uh, that's basically it. And then you can go into options for uh, track. Oh, look at that. I know. Oh, that's interesting. You could turn it from there. Oh, look at that. That's new. Instead of a button. I'm learning things as we go here. Look at that. That's the first time I've ever seen anything like that. Because there is no traction control button here at all. It's all through here. Interesting. I kind of like that. Because most of the time, you got to find the button. And you click it off once. Turn the traction off. And then if you want to do the stability, you have to hold it. So it's kind of... Um, it's a little tricky to find. So, hmm learning thing as we go. Uh, let's get that here. I think that's about... that. That's it. <laughs> Pretty base here. Pretty base here. Um, yeah, so um, you're driving. It's actually, it's fairly comfortable uh, drive. The ride's not too bad. It's a little... If, if you're kind of on the highway or kind of going on the curves, it kind of jiggles around a little, like oscillates. You know, so my wife is actually getting a little um, sick, car sick. So, you know, that's definitely they need to do a little, some more you know, suspension tuning on the car. I mean, overall, it's pretty good. I feel like turning radius is really good on it. You know, um, visibility is awesome in this car. So I do have to say for that, that is awesome. But definitely they need a little bit better suspension tuning to kind of keep it uh, a little bit more, of, not as jiggly. <laughs> There's a car review. How's the ride? Jiggly. It oscillates. But it's a kind of just bounces around. So for the most part, it's not bad, but sometimes it can get a little rough. So, but I mean, if you're on the highway going straight, it's smooth and quiet. So that's my running thing. Um, that's going to be about it. Um, I'm actually on my way to turn this vehicle back in, so, um, uh, that's about it. I think I'll call it for this video, and then we'll, um, if we have any more time, we'll do another one. Oh, also did want to say, this does have an auto stop feature, so if the car is all warmed up, and you have, you're sitting in, um, traffic with it in drive, it will actually stop. Probably not, because I haven't it's been sitting here for a while. Um, well, actually, the engine will shut off. It's not. It's not too bad, and then it'll um, abruptly, and not not abruptly, and then if you let off the gas or give it any gas, um, it'll fire back up pretty quickly. Uh, much better than other ones I've been into. So it's not doesn't rock the car. Just kind of gently starts it up. So I do have to say that's a good feature. Um, you can't. You can't not. Um, some people you can cancel it off, but not on this car. Um, okay, everyone. Have a good day. Thank you.